Hi everyone, my name is Carolyn. So today we are talking about mustard seed faith. So what does it mean to have mustard seed faith? Well, it means to be willing to take the leap of faith, to believe even in moments of unbelief and to believe in the unseen. We see this mentioned in Romans 4, 20 to 21. It says, yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. And then we also see in 2 Corinthians 4, 18, it says, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Now Mark 4, 31 describes the mustard seed as the smallest seed on earth, which has been used to measure the amount of faith you need for God to work wonders in your life. Then in Matthew 13, 31 to 32 and Luke 13, 19, we read about two men who planted the seed and watched it grow. We can see that by putting action behind our faith, we can begin to see things change and grow with each day, and we ourselves begin to change and grow as well. God revealed to me the meaning behind Matthew thirteen thirty one is, At first I couldn't understand how the kingdom of heaven could be compared to a mustard seed. And... That's when God revealed this to me. We've read that you that when you plant the mustard seed, it grows and becomes a tree so that birds can come and perch in its branches, right? We've seen that mentioned in scripture a lot. But then here in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, it says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So there it says, you know, go and make disciples, which means to grow the kingdom of heaven, which is why the kingdom of heaven is compared to a mustard seed. And I just thought that was so fascinating, and I really wanted to... Um, talk about that because, you know, I for me, when I first read uh, Matthew thirteen thirty one and it said how the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, I was like, wait, what? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> I really didn't understand how the two went hand in hand. Like, like a mustard seed is something that you plant and you watch grow, but how does that you know, go hand in hand. And then God brought up how we go and we are told in scripture to go and make disciples. And that is how it goes hand in hand. We're growing the kingdom of God at the same time as when we are planting seeds, a seed of faith into somebody. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really fascinating. Um, Okay, we also see what having the smallest bit of faith can do, and we see this in Luke 17, 6 and Matthew 17, 20. Now, Luke 17, 6 says, he replied, if your faith is small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Then Matthew 17, 20, it says, he replied, you... He replied, because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if your faith is small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Now, I, I love this because it's true. Nothing will be impossible for you. Um, but then, you know, we've realized that when we have faith in God and we trust God, nothing is impossible for him, right? And so because nothing is impossible with God, we know just from those two scriptures, which are such great examples of what little faith um, can, you know, just having a little bit of faith can move big things or, or big things can happen. Um, and Matthew nineteen twenty six says, Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And I love that verse. Um, so much because, you know, there's a lot of, the t a lot of, you know, moments in our lives where we don't understand how this could have happened, or we don't understand how we're going to make it out of this. 
um, situation that we're in, and, you know, it, to us, to the human mind, it seems impossible, but then when you realize who's behind it all, and who is going to um, take what the enemy is trying to use for evil, and he's going to turn it for good, and he's going to take ashes and turn them into beauty, and that's another Bible verse that I absolutely love as well. Um, so I just want to, this video, to just remind you to have faith in the unseen, to continue to have faith in God. Don't let your unbelief get in the way of you receiving what God has for you. Stand firm in the faith, just like Hebrews 11, 1-3 tells us. Now Hebrews 11, 1-3 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. We may not know what his plan is for us, but we can, just, just from that scripture, we know that it's going to be good. And... I just hope that this video brought some of you encouragement, and with that being said, that wraps up today's video. I know today's video was super short, but this was just on my heart to um, film, just, um, and I think it does kind of go with last week's video, um, and, you know, I feel like these two go hand in hand, but, um, yeah, this was just on my heart to film. Um, I know that there is you know, a lot of uncertainty in the world right now, um, and, you know, a lot of us tend to make plans, and they get wrecked, and, um, you know, but I hope that this video brought you some encouragement, and just kind of lifted up your spirits a little bit. Yeah, I want to thank all of you for watching today's video. There will be a new video every Friday at 4 p.m. at Mountain Standard Time. I do want to mention right now that um, in the month of September, I will be mentioning it ne in next week's video as well, but for the entire month of September, I'm actually going to be completely away. Um, God has called me into a month of just quiet and stillness, um, and I am really excited about the break. It is much needed. Um, don't get me wrong, I have so many video ideas for when I come back, but um, he has just called me into a month of just off and quiet and stillness and so yeah I just wanted to mention it now and then of course I will mention it next week as well um but yeah I am I will mention it of course on all of the platforms and everything like that but yeah I am just super excited about the break and I'm looking forward to what God has um for me so yeah um if you want a more interactive community feel I recommend that you um, go to our Facebook page, the Purity Sisters Facebook page, and on there there is a button that you can click to go and join the group. I absolutely love our group, and I love how interactive it is, um, and I love hearing from all of you, um, and... Yeah, there's just a ton more content. It's We really talk about the videos, and throughout the week, we're just talking with each other, and it's really great. Um, there's also an Instagram page that you can follow as well, um, and... Yeah, if you don't have Instagram, then there's Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, then there's Instagram. Um, but... Um, yeah, so if you want a prayer request shared on next week's video, I know I haven't been praying in the last few videos here. Um, I just haven't really been called to pray over the videos um, or even just over anything. And also, there hasn't been any prayer requests um, requested to be shared in the um video. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want your uh, prayer request to be shared, you can also share it anonymously by DMing me on um, Instagram, the Purity Sisters Instagram. And yeah, that wraps up the outro of this video. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching again, and I hope all of you have a wonderful week, and God bless. Mm -hmm.